Boydy, fantastic news that this weekend of legends is now being confirmed. Just give us your reaction to what I'm sure is going to be a, a fantastic match and a fantastic dinner for a load of Rangers legends and also some world legends as well. Yeah, well, first of all, it's, it's always uh, great to be invited back to Ibrox and, um, you know, for such a historical event as well, you know, the 150th anniversary of the football club, a fantastic match to be involved in. Um, well, I've not actually had the call yet, so hopefully I am I am involved. But, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I think it will be a fant- fantastic occasion for everyone involved. Um, I'm sure the people behind the scenes will just be glad when it's over with the work they've got to do between now and, um, obviously, the end of, of um, that weekend. But it's it's fantastic to be part of it. You know, we'll, we'll see some fantastic names coming to Ibrox, um, some that I've played before, some that I've not played, in the, obviously in the, in the world to live in as well. But, you know, I think for the Rangers fans to obviously have a lot of their heroes back at Ibrox, they might have put on a few stone here and there, but I'm pretty sure they'll still be delighted to see them. And by the yeah. way, I speak for myself there, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and you, you played in one of these games, I think it was over two years ago. What does it mean to you to be invited back to, to one of these matches and to, to pull on the boots again? Well, it's, it's always fantastic to be invited to, to Ibrox, as I said earlier there. But, you know, I think with it, there's, there's an extra special um, edge to this one in terms of it being the 150th year and the occasion, um, you know, with, with the game and everything else that's, that's going on with the club this year. It's fantastic. Um, but, you know, on a personal note, it's great to be back. I had, you know, lots of, of very good memories, um, you know, at Ibrox scoring goals, um, obviously being part of a team that, that, left, that lifted trophies. Um, that, that was successful as well. So, you know, I think for, for me to be back and also to see a lot of your ex-teammates and, and people who were around the club at the time, um, you know, you might go in for me right now in media duties, but, um, you know, it's totally different when you're inside and get to see the people that are working behind the scenes again because I know there's a lot of change and everything, but, you know, you get the, the same feel when you're there. It's a fantastic occasion as soon as you walk into Ivor. It's a fantastic place to be. And I look forward to it, and I'm sure all the rest of the guys will be the exact same. And this time, what, what a challenge is going to be in your way, you know, a team led by a world icon and, and Lewis Fiegel. Just give me some of your, your memories of watching him and, and what a player that he was back in the day. Oh, well, you've got to, I think the, the famous incident comes from, you know, the pig's head being thrown at in Barcelona. But, um, you know, I, to, to, to obviously share the same pitch with these guys, you know, I was fortunate enough to, to be part of, you know, European squads with Rangers that came up against guys like us usually, up until Christmas, I know there was a, th- a few years we went after Christmas, but you know the, the caliber of player is unbelievable. Um, you know, and I think that also to touch on what Lee, Lewis Figo and the rest of the guys doing for charity as well is fantastic. For the, so for them to be part of this, such a historical moment um, for the football club, but obviously for their foundation, everything as well. To you know, for for Rangers, the Rangers fans, for everybody um, to to help that as well. Um, you know, it's going to be a great occasion. Um, you know, they do it. Um, you know, they had lots of games every single year. I know they all have been obviously hit by the pandemic as well, the, the exact same as everybody else. But you know, just to be there, um, to be part of a of a, you know a squad that will take on you know such iconic figures of world football in the past, um, it's great. And uh, you know, I look forward to. It. I know you play your, your five sides, but when does the the real training start to be ready for this? I just wish, Nick, that those five-a-side pitches were the same size as what I, when I played, because I tell you what, what a player I would have been. I might have been starring the World Eleven if it was five-a-side pitches, that's for sure. But, um, no, listen, I, I think that, you know, we're still playing twice a week. Um, it, it keeps it keeps some of the weight off, that's for sure. But, um, no, I'm going to have to get into proper training now. Uh, maybe try and do 5Ks. That'll take me about 35 minutes or something nowadays. But, um, no, listen, I look forward to it. I'll get the head down. And I think as well, you know, when you've got something like this to look forward to, it does give you that little bit of added incentive to go and get yourself fit um, or fit, should I say. And I'm sure a lot of the boys will be the exact same because the last thing you want to do is turn up and, and make a fool of yourself. You still want to show that you've still got a little bit left um, and uh, and go from there. But look, I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, between now and, well, I'm going to tell a lie. After Christmas, I might start getting into training. I'm definitely not doing it before Christmas, that's for sure. But um, you know, I'm sure after it, we'll, we'll get a head down the, the team and, and we'll be ready for you know what will be a fantastic event for the football club. And just lastly, what a fantastic occasion it'll be for the supporters as well to be able to see all the Rangers heroes, see some of these world icons as well. Sure to be a, a great atmosphere and a great way, as you say, to celebrate 150 years of the club. Yeah, well, I think you know the, the, the current team has, has done magnificently 
in terms of the European performances and they've been able to get, you know, obviously Borussia Dortmund coming up now as well. They've been able to get um, big names back to Ibrox in terms of Europe. But you've got to remember it was every single season um, for you know, a lot of the guys growing up. Um, the fans growing up, so yes, it's getting back to where it was. But to see some of the players arrive that have probably they've probably watched before in the past in European Champions League nights, um, UEFA Cup nights at, uh, at Ibrox in the past, um, you know. So I'm sure they'll be looking forward to that. Even if you know there's older generation take their kids along and, and been able to tell them you know how good a player um, you know the, the likes of Figo and and etc cetera, etc cetera were. Um, you know, it's, it's it's fantastic just to bring everybody together. And as I said, it's a great occasion for the football club because you know the players, the caliber of players that are here, they were the type of players that was here every single season, um, season after season, performing. And um, you know, every every Champions League night, um, European nights, as we speak about, but that was the caliber of players Rangers were coming up against and competing against and doing well against. So hopefully, we don't let um, everybody down and we can put on a performance that at least. Um, we, we, we can be proud of on the, the 26th of March.